Example 3.9. In this example, we have a very long rod with a given diameter. One end is maintained at a constant temperature, while the other one is exposed to the ambient air. Therefore, it has convection heat transfer. We need to determine the temperature distribution along the rod if this is made out of copper, aluminum, or stainless steel. We also need to determine the corresponding heat losses for each one of the cases. Lastly, we need to determine the length of the rod in order to validate the assumption that it has an infinite length in order to get an accurate result. We take this example to be a steady, one-dimensional, constant properties, no radiation, and the assumption is that the length is infinite Therefore, we treated the bandit condition for the fin to be case D. The conductivity for each of the materials is obtained from table A1 and is calculated using an average temperature of 62.5. This average temperature is calculated by simply using the temperature of the base, which is 100, and average it with the temperature of the fluid, 25 Celsius. We start the analysis by using the temperature distribution for case D of boundary conditions at the tip of the fin. Since it's infinite length, the boundary condition that we're going to use is theta is equal to theta B e to the negative mx. Remember that the value of theta is simply equal to T minus T infinity, and theta B is simply TB minus t infinity. This tb is the temperature at the base, which in this case is equal to 100 Celsius. Therefore, if we substitute these values, the final temperature distribution is given as t is equal t infinity plus tb minus t infinity e to the minus mx. Notice that for the three materials, copper, aluminum, and stainless steel, the value of T infinity, TB, are constant. The only thing that changes is the value of M. The definition of M is equal to square root of HP divided by K and the cross-sectional area. Since it's a circle, we could take the perimeter to simply be pi d and the area to be pi d squared over 4. Therefore, the value of m simply becomes 4 h divided by k d to the 1 half. Since we have three different materials and three values of k, we're going to obtain three different values for m. The value of m for copper is equal to 14.2 and the unit is meter to the negative one. The M for aluminum is equal to 21.2. And the M for stainless steel is equal to 75.6. If, if you substitute the value of M into each one into this equation, you're gonna be able to get three different plots one for each one of the materials. We're going to show how to do this process in MATLAB. In order to define this problem in MATLAB, we simply enter the two different temperatures for the infinite and for the base, the three different values of M for copper, for aluminum, and for stainless steel, and we define the temperatures as a function of X using anonymous functions. We plot them using F plot with the same range. If we run this file, we get this drawing. Notice this, this is temperature as a function of the distance. Notice that the temperature distribution, it's a function of E to the negative X, and that's exactly the behavior that we see in this plot. We use the assumption that the temperature at the tip is equal to the temperature of the fluid. Notice that in the three cases, the temperature distribution reaches 
a asymptotic value of the temperature of the fluid to infinity. However, the length that each one of the rods has to have in order to reach that temperature is different. And the reason is because of the value of m, which is a function of the value of k. By looking at this plot, we can notice that the stainless steel has to be the shortest rod in order to reach that temperature, somewhere in around five centimeters. However, for copper, it has to be the longest rod in order to reach that particular temperature, it has to be in the order of magnitude of 40 centimeters. Notice that aluminum, on the other hand, is between those two, a copper and a stainless steel, and the critical length is about 30 centimeters. The second part of the problem is asking us to find out what are the heat rates for each one of the cases. We have that the heat rate of the fin is equal to the square root of H, P, K, A, C, and we multiply that by theta B. Remember that theta B is equal to T to the base minus T infinity. Notice that the quantities inside of the square root are constant for the three cases except the value of K, which is a property of the material. Therefore, we're going to have three different values. One that is for copper is equal to 8.3 watts. One for aluminum, which is equal to 5.6 watts. And one for stainless steel. Notice that a stainless steel is the one that carries the least amount of heat uh, transfer. Uh, on the other hand, copper is the one that has the highest amount of heat transfer. Notice that this is corresponding to the length or inversely proportional to the length that they have to be. Since they released the heat in the same rate, in order for copper to release 8.3 watts, it needs to be longer than stainless steel to release only 1.6 watts. Please double check your calculations. Make sure that you get the same results, the same behavior for the temperature distribution, and you understand the relationship between the heat transfer and the length of each one of the rods.